I guess we're back down by the pond. So remember, I'm just working baby steps with this dog. You know, what, what you do want to see. Falconer! Good boy. Falconer! We always take an inventory of the dog's behavior in the beginning. And if you remember the very first video, he would barely sniff the treat. Oh, but that's what you're looking for. You're looking for building it up. And really, I mean, at this point, I'm just looking to get to help help the dog understand. And you guys are going to see, I'm going to get this dog built up. If it's the last thing I do. But what, what we like to see, honestly, for, you know, if we get one in here and... You know, it starts gobbling down the treats where the people say, oh, yeah, it loves treats. Even though, remember, that lady said that about Gemma. Mm-hmm. And then Gemma wouldn't eat the treats. But that all changed. <laughs> so, again, I'm not going to, you know, if I could just get him readily accepting the treats, I don't want to make it too conditional in the beginning because, again, I shoot myself in the foot. Died. Boxer's are very unhealthy dog. Right, he's got his back to me. Falconer! Good boy. Oh, look at him go. She said very sarcastically. Uh, but again, that's. Right, it's very strange. The rabbits get up on those plastic things too. It's very bizarre. Let me tell you what. These rabbits are full of coccidia. Right, so I don't know if I can get him to come from that far, but you're still looking to try to get them when their back is turned and stuff. But that's what I've got in the back of my mind, that I am going to build up this dog's food drive, and then I'm going to go from there. Not that I'm just going to give up and not use food, because I know that the dog is a very hungry dog because he just gulps his food down. Falconer! Falconer! I'm over here, Falky! Falconer! Good boy! Good! Good boy! Oh! Good boy! That was a big progress right there. He trotted. He walked slowly. That's where you've got to start. And we'll look back on this. Because this is my dog. I don't, I don't know if I would eventually place this dog, but I love this dog. I told Nina, I'm looking for another great Dane, and then this is what she does. <laughs> I, I also told her I was looking for a little deaf bulldog, and then she found me. Uh, <laughs> she's the one that found uh, bricks. So I'm intermittently just giving him food. But you can see what that caused. Oh, look at his little tail wag. He's deciding it tastes very delicious. Let's see <laughs> if I can get him. I want him to swim. Falconer! Good boy! Good boy! So to me, that's where you've got to go. You, you do have to be careful, though, because I don't know if you remember, if you guys remember Tosca, the deaf one. That thing would run at you. It would be terrifying. She was way bigger than him. She was probably 40 pounds bigger than him. And she'd come at you at a dead run. <laughs> it was terrifying. Falconer! Good boy! Good boy! Progress. I specifically cooked this chicken this morning, though, because... Because he's a very hungry dog. Falconer! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! You can see what's happening. It's subtle, but he's turning that same way every time. He's turning, he's turning to the right, and some of them will have a tendency to turn to the right or turn to the left, even though the collar is in a fairly neutral location. Only gonna do it when his back is turned.
falconer holding it down falcon good boy see i said that i was just getting ready to say too as soon as i say they turn a specific direction they turn the other way <laughs> some are ambidextrous turn to the right but turn to the left a lot of them are you could juxtapose the videos next to each other and it's the exact same maneuver over and over again. Oh, the taste of this chicken. It's delicious. You know, because remember, this dog was starved, and it was fed the cheapest dog food, so I don't think he was getting a lot of chicken at his house. You know, and I'm sure you're saying, well, why is she just giving him the food? Because that's the barrier that I've got to overcome. Falconer! Saw my little move. It's very, very slow. That's the move that we're gonna have. And one day I'll look back and say, remember when he used to go real slow? Where were those days? Because he's taken off running a few times around here. And let me tell you what, it's terrifying. <laughs> Falconer! He's ambidextrous because he did turn that way too. So remember you guys, that's the rule you're following. Only calling him when his back is turned. I'm starting the pager slightly before and I'm holding it down until he turns. So we're going to have to put that on the shopping list to go get some more chicken. I do think I have some. No, you know what? I've got some chicken cutlets in there that I got for tacos the other night. I can thaw those out to use tomorrow. Cut it out. Oh, look at his little happy face. <laughs> so what, you know, what's happening is he is becoming more interested in the treats. Oh, he's very gentle. He's not like... <laughs> so I'm going to let him get away. Falconer! Holding it down, holding it down. Falconer! There. I let it up right there. I kept holding it down, though. I kept holding it down. And remember, this dog was not... was left intact and had even bred with this female that was with it. We're not even sure if that female was a sister or whatever. <laughs> it's been spayed now, though, but... So he's still very, you know, if he smells where another male is peed and stuff. Not that I'm making excuses, but that's what he does. So at that point, if I would have let it up, and I think you've got 12 seconds on these. If I would have let it up, I would have sent the wrong signal. I don't know if I told you this, there was a giant dead fish down here. Giant. It's gone, but now I'm very paranoid. It was one of my big bass. Falconer. Had a real nice spin that time. All right, guys, so we're working on it. I think you see improvements from yesterday, and that's all you've got to do. We took a tiny step up, tiny step, tiny step. Bye, you guys.